clear when you take a look at who has the most data and who has the most to gain when you're developing AI, who's winning? So right now, China certainly is ahead. It has very lax data restrictions on collecting personal data and a very powerful tech company, namely Tencent, which has, through WeChat, collected so much personal data that really China is ahead if we believe that data is the key to unlocking AI's potential. And I guess it wouldn't be too hard for China. I mean, their people seem to be accustomed to being constantly watched. And I guess this also applies when it comes to the collection of data. How aware are they or how concerned are they about their own privacy? It's a good question. It's unclear that there is that much concern. There is surveillance all over China with cameras everywhere. Um, AI has become so good now that they can identify people's faces and they can start tagging them based on what they're buying, what they're doing. But it's also all throughout WeChat app. And there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of concern about that as long as the government's using it for public good. What are other countries then doing about this? Yeah, so... Uh, recently announced was um, a potential coalition, hopefully signed before the G20 between the US, Japan and the European Union to develop some sort of standard for data sharing. Right now, those countries and regions don't share data and it means that they're, they're limited in how much AI they can really build. If they were able to share their data amongst them, they could potentially compete with China. But that brings up challenges around data security, privacy, data formats, and the fact that the US is pretty behind the rest of the world in kind of any sort of data privacy regulation. We've seen, uh, you know, the, the, the downside of the, all this, right, in, in the privacy debate over the likes of Google and Facebook. Is there a sense that regulation and what authorities are able to do in terms of creating, I guess, more of a global framework around privacy and how to manage this sort of enormous amounts of, of data securely, is that really lagging the technology at this point? Quite possibly. Um, the European Union, with its GDPR regulation that came into force in the spring, is ahead. Japan has one similar. Um, California is implementing a similar one, but not till 2020. And the US as a whole hasn't yet discussed that. And that certainly is a challenge, because without standards on how you collect and save and secure data, it's going to be dangerous for big tech companies to want to play with lots of personal data. So it doesn't look like the Chinese will be giving up their policy of made in China 2025 anytime soon. What does the U.S. have to do in order to compete against them? Yeah, so the made in China 2025 policy is, is very AI heavy. And what they're trying to do is actually bring a lot of their chip manufacturing onshore, not rely so much on U.S. chip manufacturing. And they're doing that through developing AI chip IP, which are kinds of chips that AI algorithms run on. And if China does that, that's going to be a challenge for the US because if China has the best AI chips and the US doesn't want to use them, they're going to lag behind. So companies like NVIDIA, for instance, making GPUs, so AI chips, are very key to some of the strategy that the US has to pursue.